We're following breaking news in the state's $5 billion lawsuit against 3M. The high-profile trial set to start today, but instead, just in the last hour, word of a settlement. Fox 9 Samuel King live downtown with more on this breaking story. Sam? Kelsey and Jeff, the state and 3M reaching a settlement worth $850 million. It's believed to be the largest environmental related settlement in state history. Now, this money will intended to be used for drinking water and water sustainability projects, primarily in the East Metro. A jury selection in this trial had set to begin this morning, but Attorney General Lori Swanson revealed the two sides have been working on a settlement agreement for weeks, still talking through this morning. In fact, the state first filed two back in 2010, alleging that 3M not only dumped the waste from perfluorochemicals or PFCs in the East Metro, but also for decades hit the risk those chemicals pose to human health and the environment. Chemicals used in products like Scotchgard and nonstick cookware. While 3M is not admitting wrongdoing, Swanson says she appreciates the company's willingness to settle the matter. Bottom line is we're very pleased with the settlement because the settlement will provide real money and it's going to help municipalities, it's going to help individual homeowners, and will help try to make right and fix this problem. And the settlement holds off what would have likely been a long and complex trial with conflicting information on just how dangerous those chemicals are. The State Department of Health weighing in with a study of its own just this month. Swanson says she was actually troubled by the Health Department's involvement and we will have more to say on that later. We're awaiting a statement from the Department of Health for their response. Meanwhile, we have heard from 3M within the past 15 minutes or so. Well, 3M says, paraphrasing a bit here, they've never believed there was a PFC-related health issue. It does The company says the agreement allows us to move past this litigation and work together with the state to benefit the environment of our communities. And the AG's office says they'll have more to say tomorrow on how this $850 million can be used. Unlike some other settlements, it can only be used for drinking water or water sustainability related projects. We're live downtown Minneapolis tonight, Samuel King, Fox 9.